Geert Wilders is best known for his criticism about the Islam, but also the man with the bad haircut. In 1998, he became a member of the parliament on behalf of the VVD. On September the 3rd, 2004, he left this group and founded his one-man party named the Groep Wilders. He is also known for his outspoken visions on the European Union, the Euro, the immigration and uh, free speech. But um, is this all sincere or does he have a hidden agenda? That's the golden question. The PVV, the party of Geert Wilders, continues to gain in popularity in the Netherlands. Thanks to the refugee crisis, this pushes the PVV the second highest score ever achieved. Many people see Wilders as the savior of the Netherlands, and he wins a huge followers with his story about the Islam and refugees. But a Facebook page named Alternatieve Media Nederland nevertheless think different about the true intention of Geert Wilders and disclosed 24 examples, 24 smoking gun examples of false promises, choices that contradict where he stands for, and lies, dirty lies. Before I enumerate a few points, Here's a little background of Geert Wilders, you need to know. Wilders, Geert Wilders has lived from 17 to age of 19 in Israel. And for 25 years he visited this country in his own words about 40 times. Wilders was originally a Roman Catholic, but he allowed himself to unsubscribe from the church and is now an agnostic. An agnostic is someone who neither believes nor disbelieves in the existence of God, while a theist believes that God exists and an atheist disbelieves in God. Again, many people see Geert Wilders as the savior of the Netherlands. Reality is, the PVV, Geert Wilders, does not support entirely the average Dutch person. Again, many people see Geert Wilders as the savior of the Netherlands. But the reality is, the PVV, Geert Wilders, does not support entirely the average Dutch person. The average PVV voter thinks that there is much wrong with the elderly, because they now absorb more refugees or Moroccan people as pensioners enjoying their Dutch retirement in Morocco. For real? Here are some remarkable facts about Geert Wilders and his PVV. The PVV let the ordinary people be stuck in traffic jams, but let the rich drive. <laughs> the party agreed to pay elite toll lanes where people with money can pass the traffic jams. The PVV was champion election time animal rights. After the elections, that quickly changed. The group voted against mandatory firefighting equipment in stables, where the last five years over 700,000 animals were burned alive. The word democracy appears 15 times in the PVV election. The term freedom more often. After the elections, however, the party voted against the improvement of information from the government to the House of European Decision Making and influenced the Netherlands thereon. Contrary to its promises, the Freedom Party voted against a new law regulating the financing of political parties must make transparent. The party voted for more influence from Brussels on the Dutch budget. Contrary to the expectation of the Freedom Party voted against the establishment of the poverty and against equal rights to unemployment and sickness benefits for flexible workers. And then creme de la creme, the PVV claims to be there for the common man right, but still voted for the further liberalization of the social rented sector, for TTIP, 
and against a millionaire tax which the gap between the rich and the poor should be reduced. So, shocking isn't it? Now, some user named Dave Crone said on Lions Grounds Facebook not to mention his Israeli background which is quite dangerous because he has a double agenda. He hates Muslims and burned the Koran with laughter. He has roots in Indonesia and colored his hair because he has a twisted vision about the white supremacy. He is like Hitler and I have my reason to say that if I look back in the history. It's scary how comparing those two are. We now know how Geert Wilders played the game. He practiced a play on emotion of the Dutch population. Let the points I've mentioned a few moments ago help you remember to think twice before voting for PVV Geert Wilders. Because Geert Wilders qualifies on many aspects to destroy the Netherlands. Of course he hates the Islam because of his Israeli background. Islam and immigration problems can be solved in different ways. But the wrong way, my opinion, is the PVV manner. <laughs> it almost looks like Geert Wilders is the elite puppet. I want to read your thoughts in the comments.